now that I've been in business for five to six years and have worked with thousands of people and I have hundreds of clients that I work with one-to-one, I have been noticing that there's a, a group of clients I work with that get really successful. They have fast success out the gate. They're good to go. And as I get to know that person more, I begin to realize, oh, before they came to work with me, they already had a good mindset. Mm-hmm. They already had some some things that they had been already working on. And then all I did was add fuel to that and they were able to take off. Then I have clients that come to me with very little financial literacy and education and it's a and it's a building up and those clients take longer but do have success right then there's my third group here where whether they have a lot of knowledge little to none it almost doesn't matter how how smart they are right Mm -hmm. but there's this group here of clients and it doesn't matter their age or ethnicity or none of that really matters it's this mindset that I'm beginning to become more aware of where I'm like, why don't you think like these clients do? Why are you not thinking the way that I think? I'm like, what what is so difficult? Like, why can't you get this? And now I'm spending more, you know, after years of spending more time with this client, I'm like, hey, we've been together three years. We've been in four years. I met you when you were making 50 and you're only making 55 three years later or 60K. Like what's going on? Like, like that now I start to almost get slightly frustrated and I have to catch myself because I'm like, wait a minute, you know, this isn't, you know, my buddy, this isn't my friend, this isn't, you know, family or like I, I, I need to remind myself not to just kind of, you know, burst. I, I do it in my head more than I actually talk on the phone, but I know my voice. I can kind of, uh, I think I, I kind of deepen the voice and I kind of go direct. And I've noticed over the years, I'll either push some clients away unintentionally where they Mm. just simply, they just simply stop booking phone calls. Right. Or they'll quit because they don't feel worthy enough. Right. They, they, they actually, not that they have anything against me. They're actually so embarrassed to book a call with me because it's been three years, four years, Mm. five years, and they're still not you know having the success so they're like i can't call denzel no way i i need to get my money right i need to do that and i'm like well it's not gonna work alone right so now i'm kind of like all right i need to figure out a way to address these sensitive money mindset obstacles and issues these traumas that these clients have that these people have and figure out uh, an environment uh, a, a safe environment where people can express their their faith express their emotions be challenged but also acknowledge and 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 becoming aware hey i see you for who you are you're worthy you can do this yeah and it's it's a paradigm mindset shift and then once that happens it's like all these things when it comes to the the strategies then they just start to click the light bulb goes off Mm -hmm. right some people the light bulb goes off much faster than others and those are like the easiest people to work with. Um, and then others take much longer periods of time. And that's where I get to practice patience, right? So that I can, you know, improve myself and, and increase the success rate with those uh, people that I'm working with right now.